Do your edits end up getting zero hey. views because they're offbeat as fuck? Well, don't worry, because today we'll show you the proper way on how to mark beats and everything you need to know. Make sure to watch till the end so you can get your views from zero up to one million. As you can see, I'm currently preparing an edit and I still need to mark the beats. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute my intro clip so it doesn't get confused with the beat drops. Now what you wanna do is you're gonna go onto your sound, right click, go to keyframe assistant and convert audio into keyframes. What that does is pretty self-explanatory, it simply just turns your audio levels into keyframes. So now when we open the new created layer, press U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes and select both channels, open the graph editor, we can now see that there's a spike every time where there's a beat drop. So it's now way easier to see where the beat drops and where you have to set your markers. To create a new marker, so we're just going to head to the right and select this little marker tool. And if we press it once, it should simply create a marker at our current frame in a timeline. And you can see it right here. It's going to be easier to remember where the beat drops are. What you want to do now is just go ahead. For my audio, it's pretty easy because you can see the spikes are pretty regular. I can just mark the beat every time it hits. Just click the marker a second time and it should create a second marker. Now do this for every time where your beat drops so you know all the beat drops. Once you've done that, you can now close the graph editor, zoom out a bit. Now we can delete this layer because we don't need it anymore and make sure to listen along to your audio one more time. Oh my God. What the Shit, fuck? Bro. As you can see, for me, everything worked out and the beats are all marked now. So now you can go ahead, add your clips and create perfectly synced edits. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to like and subscribe and also leave a comment telling me what tutorial you want to see next. And definitely make sure to not miss out on your big opportunity because I'm running huge sales on both of my Payhip and my online shop right now. Make sure they are the first links in the description if you want to get professional presets that help you pop off. Check it out. Also, I made an editing discord that you can join and hang out with me. Just get in touch. Maybe ask me questions. I'll be gladly answering all your questions right there. Thank you for watching and see you next time.